Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So, uh, Heidi got hurt. That's why I've been gone for a while. Real busy uh, going back and forth to the hospital. She's okay. Um, long story short, trying to break up a dog fight, uh, lost the end of her finger, and then messed up one of her other fingers pretty bad. And uh, like I said, she's okay. She's uh, healing up real good right now and everything's good. No infection, no nothing like that. Um, she'll be okay. She's just missing the tip of her finger. Um, it was just a bad deal. But uh, anyways, enough, enough of the personal stuff. Been working on this uh, Jeep, trying to get this thing done. And what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around and show you what I got going on. So right now, I, I just pulled the carburetor off. Um, we had a guy working with us and he rebuilt the carb and, you know, we tried to do what we could with what we had. And then, you know, sometimes there's just, you, you just can't use what you, what you have. It's just worn out and all the bushings are no good and whatever. And so we just got a new carburetor today. We got to go pick it up. It's like a three hour drive. We're going to haul ass over there and pick it up. And, and, uh, the speedometer cable broke when I was messing with that. So we're going to pick that up today. And then we have some uh, mounts that go on the front of the hood that are rubber instead of the stock wood ones because the wood ones look stupid. So we're going to pick those up. And uh, we finally got all the lights finished and blinkers working and uh, running lights working and got all the little details like this put on and the welting for the hood. <clears throat> uh, we got all the new blinkers finished up. And we changed this over to 12 volt and redid the whole wiring harness. We had some problems the other day. Uh, part of the wiring harness shorted out and burned up some wires and got that all taken care of. Uh, got the new ignition switch in, all new gauges, uh, except for the couple that were stock. Uh, the ones that were that are new, uh, we had to replace the stock ones. So, And then the shifter knob was broke off and it actually broke the shifter handle. So I rethreaded that and then uh, put a new knob on there, or not new, but... Uh, you know, re-threaded it and fixed it and repaired it the way it needed to be and put it back on. Um, everything else is pretty good. Right now I'm adjusting the brakes and on the U-joints, I pulled those out the other day, pulled the uh, driveline out and replaced that seal in the front of the yoke. It was just puking out of there, pouring. I just had to clean up the floor. It had a big puddle right here, so it was leaking really bad. Um, everything else is pretty much covered. Looks good. <clears throat> and... Uh, I got a couple leaks to fix right here. Um, I fixed yesterday, the fuel pump was leaking. And what I did is I unbolted it from the block and you can't turn this fitting because the motor mount and timing cover and everything's right here. So you can't turn this fitting at all. So what I did is I spun, pulled that pump off, spun that till it was tight, tighten the bolts back on the block to pull the pump to the block and then put that back on. So it's not, it's not leaking now, so that's good. Um, what else? Like I said, I got the blinkers. They're all working. Thanks to Harvey. He was over here helping me. And those are all, those are all taken care of. Uh, spare tire mounts all finished up. Wheels and tires and everything are all back on this thing. Glass is back in it. Handmade this windshield. Turned out really nice. Looks stock. And got the steering column put back in it. And, uh, got the horn button. Thanks to Aaron. Aaron helped me fix the horn button. It was a disaster. We got the wiring all fixed and, and ran a new wire down the column and got that taken care of. Or, I'm sorry, not, not ran the wire down the column, but, you know, spliced in the wire in the column so that the horn button's working and everything. So, <clears throat> And then uh, the cable on the parking brake was broken, the stock one. So what I did there is uh, I had to build a piece for that stock cable. And then, uh, and then we put the, the new cable in here. Sorry about that. And then bolted it in here with the stock bracket. And then yesterday I got the new uh, air cleaner and everything put on, on the firewall. And it's got the oil bath air cleaner and that's all done. And we changed this over to an oil filter so that it doesn't have the big canister right here sticking up where the, the oil filter is. It, it had the cartridge style and I wanted to make sure it had a little bit better. So we put the filter style <clears throat> where you can run just a Wix filter. And that was really about the best spot we can mount it. You know, it'll be kind of messy, you know, when you change the oil filter. But the thing is, is, you know, you're not going to be doing it a lot. It's not something you're going to be doing. You know, this Jeep is not going to be driven a whole bunch. So, you know, this will be something that they'll use for bar hopping or whatever. Um, new headlights and 
the stock headlight rings and everything. We painted those so they look nice with the bumpers and everything. And uh, brand new tires, got the wheels all painted. They look super nice with the white. And uh, what else? And then uh, all, the whole wiring harness is completely finished now. Um, I have one wire that I have to change on that. Uh, I have to change that three prong blinker assembly there. And then uh, I also have to put a 50 amp breaker right here so that, you know, if something shorts out or, again or whatever, that way we don't have that same problem we had the other day. I don't want to burn up the wires or whatever. So got to get that taken care of. And that's about it. But that's what's going on right now. Appreciate you guys being patient. Haven't been loading videos lately. I've just been super busy with all this stuff going back and forth to hospitals with Heidi. She's doing really good. Told everybody to tell me hi, tell you guys hi. And uh, she'll be back in the shop soon filming and helping out, you know. And then uh, the SEMA car, I know a lot of people are asking about that. It's over in the body shop getting body work. And uh, if I get a chance, I'll try to do some uh, filming on that. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, thanks for joining me. So underneath the Jeep, look at this goofy ass setup they do on the brake adjusters. So we, we replaced all the adjusters and brakes and wheel cylinders and all that stuff. But so these guys, you turn counterclockwise to tighten them, to adjust the bottom of the shoe. And then these top ones, there's one here and there's one right there. You tighten these ones uh, clockwise to adjust the shoe. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. But uh, then I got a, um, I already bled the brakes. Um, there's a grease zert right here. I'm going to pull these zerts out, clean them, and then uh, off the grease, the axles and everything. <clears throat> and I just uh, finished uh, filling this sucker with uh, gear oil. It's like 8590 or whatever it was. And the exhaust is all done. It's rusty because it was bare metal and it was just kind of sitting underneath here. The humidity in the shop made it rust up real bad. But new shocks, new everything. Leaf springs, new hangers, new bolts, brake lines. We use that copper nickel. Works really nice. Brakes, brakes are all bled. And uh, as I do some more, I'll film some more. Thanks for watching.